Because he set us free to love one another and serve one another in love. That's what he set us free for. It was for freedom that he set us free. For freedom. It's for you to experience that kind of freedom. To no longer fear. To understand grace is everything. Grace is the fuel. It's what it, it's because it's not about you, it's about him. And when it's all about him and I no longer have fear, I am able to serve others in love. I'm able to love people who don't agree with me, who don't look like me, who don't act like me, who have nothing, to, they don't even want to have anything to do with me. I can still love because that's what I'm free to do. That is the freedom that I think you should at least ask yourself the question, do I feel more free? Do I feel more free? Look, I'm here. I'm at, I'm at church on Easter. That's awesome. That's, that's like Super Bowl, right? Super Bowl for Christians, right? <laughs> but the question is, if you've ever asked the question, or if it's going to come up anytime soon, I would so much rather you ask the question, look, am I experiencing any kind of freedom in my life? Do I feel more free today than I felt before I, you know, engaged the whole Christian thing? Because if you do not, if you don't, then maybe you need to go back to the non-negotiables, right? Maybe you need to go back to understand what it means to declare with your mouth that he is Lord, to believe in your heart that he rose from the dead for your freedom. And all I have to do is receive it, to receive that grace, receive that unmerited favor from God. Maybe you have to go right back to the non-negotiables and, and start there. Or maybe, quite frankly, for, for you, maybe it's just you, you get that, but you are living in chains, you are guilty of Galatians 5.1. You, you have been set free for freedom, but you are not living in freedom. You are the most fearful person you know. Stress, worry, anxiety, it's all fear. And you live your life by this fear. And you're frustrated. And you, that's one of the reasons that the expectation is so far away from your reality. But I'm here to tell you, you've been set free. You can deal with God on that, and you can be set free from that fear. To understand grace. There's nothing you've done. There's nothing you've got to clean up first. And because of that, you understand the love of God to a deeper level, to a, to a level that even Paul said, I wish you could understand how deep and how wide and how long his love really is and experience it. You're not going to be able to explain it, but you can experience it. So that you can love others as he's called us to do. I'll close with this before we pray, but this is a great, I'm going to read from the message again, but this is a great paraphrase of, of the verse in which Jesus basically says, look, all who are weary and heavy laden, come to me because I want to give you rest. And the context of how he was saying it, why he was saying it, again, I just believe Eugene does a great job at giving us that context as he paraphrases that set of verses. And this is the invitation as we pray that I believe he, not only Jesus came to give the people he was serving, but as it was recorded in the Gospels for us, it's the same invitation for us. Let's read this together. You are, are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me and you will recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me, and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. That is his invitation to us. Let's pray.